Hello there, my lovely Taurus. This is Renee. Welcome back. This is going to be your next 48 hours. What's going on? What you can expect? What is happening for you the next 48 hours? Okay, so let's take a look and see what's coming out. And we will get into this. First card out, emotions are running high, the super moon. So you could be feeling a lot at the moment, you know? And we have orphaned. So you could be feeling very alone, you know? Um, feelings of abandonment, feeling like there's no one there to support you. Um, someone's left you really in your feelings. Let's get a card. We have Spiritual Understanding, Archangel Raziel. I bring you esotrentic, esoteric information and symbols and helping you understand spiritual truths. Okay, so you could be getting signs and synchronicities that the angels are surrounding you to protect you and guide you through this time. Okay, um, I feel like whatever that you're going through, Taurus, I feel like it's just that type of season, right? It's just that season. And, and I feel like you're going to be just fine. But um, could be a time to really focus on yourself, focus on your healing, you know, getting a better understanding, more meaning by tapping into your spiritual your spiritual awareness okay let's take a look at the tarot what does uh, Taurus need to hear the next 48 hours what messages do we have for Taurus Sun Moon rising and Venus Taurus all placements yeah we have the star card we have the two of Pentacles you're you're definitely in some kind of healing Taurus um, you're trying to balance things out. You're trying to feel balanced. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. So there is a new beginning here. Whatever you're going through, you're transitioning out of it. You're moving away from it because you have this new beginning after this healing. Okay. Um, there's going to be some kind of actions that you're taking, some kind of messages that you'll be receiving. You're still in this blocked energy when it comes to your overall energy. But I feel like, you know, yeah, you're feeling pretty lazy at the moment, too. Uh, you know, don't take that the wrong way. Okay? Um, it could have to do with your finances. Um, but I, f I, I get the feeling that you're releasing yourself. That, that you're not necessarily being lazy or procrastinating at the moment you're working on yourself you're healing so you could be really resting and rejuvenating at the moment right we have the four of cups in reverse we have the temperance in reverse wow what is going on taurus and we have the ace of wands definitely new beginnings Definitely new beginnings. Here we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands all in the same row. You know, you're, you're resting and rejuvenating because you know that there's new beginnings here. You know, you know that you're moving into calmer waters. You're moving into, you know, a, a better situation. Your situation is improving, okay? And so I, I feel like you're standing strong. You may have just had a tower moment, you know, you may have just went through some kind of cruelty or some kind of bitterness that was around you. You know, I, I'm getting that someone was kind of bitter and they were really reflecting that energy on you. OK, but I feel like you're in healing at the moment and you are going through this. Setting your priorities, trying to gain your balance, trying to gain your footing, right? But you have this new beginning. You're starting over, okay? There's going to be some kind of communication coming into you, some kind of communication that you're needing. And this can also be you taking that inspired action or, or just simply moving forward, okay? The, the ace, 
excuse me, the Eight of Wands is strong energy of motion, right? It's moving. It's not standing still. It's not capable of standing still. It's moving. It's moving forward. Okay, this is also when it comes to communication. It's, it's communication that's coming in very rapidly. Okay, maybe even communication that you've been waiting for. The Eight of Swords in reverse, that's what really is, because that's your overall energy, I feel like you have the need to set yourself free from something. You're trying to get a new perspective, but you're also trying to accept yourself, you know. Um, there's something that may have kind of made you feel like you were in a mental prison. And now you're freeing yourself from that energy. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse, That's that, that could be laziness, procrastination. That could be... You know, you really working on your finances because there's too much going out and not enough coming in. Um, you just may have a lack of resources, you know, or, or even a lack of commitment, you know. You have these new beginnings down here, but you have this Ten of Pentacles in reverse, in between it so there's something holding you back from beginning okay from something that's going to bring you more wealth more stability more uh, abundance and something that's going to give you more growth more uh, inspired action more going forward okay more creative ideas you know there's something keeping you blocked with the, the Four of Cups energy in reverse, I really feel like, you know, you're choosing happiness, but you're also choosing acceptance. We, we have choosing acceptance, choosing happiness, self-acceptance, freeing yourself to this new beginning, right? So I, I feel like, you know, this is beautiful energy because you're more, you're becoming more self-aware. You know, you're not expecting someone else to heal you. You're doing that healing on your own. You're working things out, you know. We, we're going from this healing energy to self-acceptance to new inspired action, new beginnings. Okay, so both ways is good. So I feel like there's a lot of things that you're working on. You're becoming more aware of a lot of different situations. Okay. Um, now, when it comes to this row here, I feel like you're trying to gain balance. But you may be going to the extremes here. You know, you may be pushing it a little bit. Um, you may need to take more patience to have more faith, to become more spiritual during this time, right? Um, by taking the, the higher road or finding meaning in the situation. I, I, I feel like, you know, you're going to the extremes one way or another with this temperance being in reverse. You're not waiting for something. You're like forcing it, okay? So really be aware of that. Okay, let's go ahead and get some messages. Let's go ahead and clarify for Taurus. Give me a message. Why is the temperance here? Why is the temperance here for Taurus? Give me a message. Why is the temperance here? Yeah, something ended. Something maybe that you weren't expecting, but something ended, Taurus. And I feel like that's the reason why you feel like you have to go through this healing. You have to take the, this extra time with yourself. Okay. Um, what is, why is this two of pentacles here? The five of wands. You're, you're getting out and you're making the decision to live more. You know. You may be building up your confidence to 
just get out more, socialize, right? The five of five of wands, this is like um, playing hard, working hard, living good, right? Being playful. Um, at the ace of pentacles, we have the high priestess. So I feel like this new beginning is going to be revealed to you, but it's also going to be a revelation. Okay. Um, I feel like this is definitely something that you've been waiting for when it comes to um, this new beginning. Uh, it's also listening to your divine truth. You know, some kind of truth is coming out, especially for you. This is this is meant just for you. Okay. And why is the eight of wands here? Why is the Eight of Wands here? The World card. Yeah, I feel like whatever communication this is, whatever actions are being taken, this is going to be an end of a cycle and a start of a new, a new, new beginning, new cycle. Okay, we have three cards, especially for new beginnings. Okay, well, actually four because the Ten of Swords. This is an ending, but this is also a new beginning. Because with endings, we also have beginnings, right? So I feel like there's definitely a new beginning coming. We have the, the Knight of Pentacles on the bottom. So I really feel like whatever communication that you're getting, this is going to be good news. This is something that you've been waiting for. Something that um, maybe you thought wasn't going to come, come through, you know. Um, tell me about this Eight of Swords. Give me a message. Why is this Eight of Swords here? The Knight of Cups in reverse. Someone broke your heart. Someone took back an offer. Or someone just won't apologize. You know? Someone may be caught up in their ego um, with this Knight of Cups. And we also have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. So yeah, you you're you're finding that freedom. You're finding that freedom from this person that broke your heart. And it, it could be that they you thought that they were going to be more than what they were. But it all turned out just to be a fantasy like it just didn't become real and now you're trying to free yourself from that energy. Okay. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Give me a message. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Whew. Now actually for Aries, I got the same combination. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse with the Four of Pentacles in the upright. The same exact combination. So you may want to take a look at the Aries reading if you have Aries in any of your um, charts, okay? But I feel like you're balancing something, but you're also protecting your energy. I, I feel like you're kind of storing up your energy for these new beginnings. You're storing up your energy. You're protecting yourself from maybe this. You know, maybe this Knight of Cups in reverse. Maybe that's what you're protecting your energy from. You know, um, why is the Four of Cups here? The Five of Swords. Okay. You're, com you're conflicted about some ideas. You're trying to find happiness. You're trying to find this self. You're, you're trying to find this self-acceptance. But I feel like there's someone around you who's trying to take that away. Who's trying to cut you down. Who's trying to maybe sabotage the situation. Um, but someone is keeping you conflicted. Someone's keeping you confused and stopping you from having this success. Okay? Now, these new beginnings are coming no matter what. You know, you're going to have these new beginnings. But right now, I feel like there's a lot of things going through your mind that are conflicted. That you know, are blocking you from being able to soar, right? Why is the temperance here in reverse? The 
Eight of Pentacles. There may be something that you're trying to learn. Um, there's something that you're trying to really work on. You know, it could be the need to have more patience, to let things go with the flow, you know. Maybe you try to force things too much or you've tried to force this King of Cups, the, excuse me, this Knight of Cups. You're trying to force this opportunity. But I feel like spiritual then you know to take your time. Take your time. Don't rush. Let things happen naturally. Let things go with the flow. Just because this offer wasn't meant for you at the moment doesn't mean this offer isn't meant for you in the future. Okay? So, yeah, just bear that in mind, Taurus. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Give me a message for the Ace of Wands. The Magician. You are manifesting something. You're manifesting something great. You know, it may be something that you've been soul searching. You know, the hermit, that's a beautiful story because the hermit is following his path. Okay? He's following his path to gain wisdom. You know, he's soul searching. But the beautiful thing is, he has the star in his lantern. The star represents his healing. All the things that he's learned during his lifetime, he's being led by what he has learned, the knowledge he has gained. So he's being led by his wisdom. So I feel like that's exactly what you're doing. You're being led by your wisdom. You're moving forward into a beautiful path. It may not look so beautiful at the moment, Taurus, but you are on a beautiful journey. Okay? There's things that are coming into your life that you will be manifesting that are going to really come into reality very quickly. Okay? Because, be, because for the simple reason that you are moving forward, you're taking control, you're working on your passions, on things that love, that you love, you know? You may not have all the answers, but you're you're still moving forward regardless. Okay? So beautiful energy, Taurus. So let's go ahead and get some messages for Taurus. What does Taurus need to know? What else does Taurus need to know, Spirit? Give me a message. What does Taurus need to know? I'm trying not to make these readings go so long. So I hope that's okay. If you like the longer readings, let me know. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to kind of shorten them up. So let me know how that goes. Okay, messages for Taurus. What does Taurus need to know, please? Yeah, you are so close to a win here. Okay. And we have healing to create the perfect time to reunite. Okay, that could be the reason for this. We have, I'm tired of being apart. We also have, you'll get the money you need very soon. And you need to heal so that you can move forward. We have open heart. Okay, so open your heart to situations. At the bottom we have, I've learned my lesson. There's that hermit energy. You know, gaining that wisdom through the lessons that you've learned. Okay, so beautiful energy here. Okay, Taurus, let's go ahead and get your angel number. What angel number do we have for Taurus, please? Angel number for Taurus. We have 1515, creativity. Keep assessing the creative connection that you feel to the divine. The whispers speak through your creative connection, allowing you to express the beauty that is within you and the connection you that connect you to love that is around you. Okay? 
Your affirmation creativity is my birthright. And as I express my creativity, I feel a beautiful flow of love and connection. Okay, so that is your reading, my beautiful Taurus. So I hope this reading resonates. I hope this helps you. You know, um, you are on the road to a beautiful beginning, a beautiful journey. So, you know, take that in mind. You know, you are so close to a win here. Okay. And my beautiful Taurus, if, um, if this doesn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. And until your next reading, many blessings to you. Love and light.